What's up everybody, it's the boy Devom here, and today, we're going to finally be playing Life is Strange again. <laughs> uh, I totally forgot what I ended off on, so it's going to be an experience. One second, everybody. All right, we're getting into this. Right here. Continue. Ah. <sighs> Continue. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got cars in Atlanta. Boo, 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 boo. Hey, 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 hey. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have what? to go over what happened before Miss Marsh before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Yep. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. I forgot As what she said. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell uh, us Uh, no, everything. actually. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further yes. notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. <laughs> a friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me. But... I think I can use my power again. Nah. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. Mm -hmm. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Alright. 
mighty boys. Arr, mighty, arr. I don't know why I just did that. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. <laughs> Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? Tornado. The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. You. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. What was that? Oh, wait. Is the music off? Is that why it's so quiet? Like Oh, Jesus, I was daydreaming. <laughs> I should have kept the music on because this is really awkward. Can I skip it? No. Finally. Oh. Well, let's start episode... Uh, 
I couldn't save Kate's life. I don't know how. We got an achievement. Out of time. Finish episode two. <sighs> All right. Episode 3. Yes, go on episode 3, you dingbat. <laughs> Alright, now you load, boy. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Alright. It's based on the game features player choice to consequences of all your game and game actions and essentially impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Ooh, quiet spooky. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Hi, Waiter Bunny. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream.
Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Whose room is this? Hi, Chloe. Hey, Dana. I'm Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved. Like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. You were nice to Kate. That's all she needed from everybody else here. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sharla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Ah, gotcha. Now, why won't they fit? These keys are all broken. Principal ah, Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Look at me. Feeling sorry for myself when Kate Marsh's family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the Academy right out of Oregon. Now I understand why the student is called it. Plays black hell. It's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Nuts and bolts. <coughs> like my grandpa's garage. Nothing but tools. Nothing here. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Mm, I don't know. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't need to click that. Okay, can I leave? No. Okay, so I looked at all those. Where did he go? Hello, Squall. Hello. Okay, let's go around here. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Oh my, oh my, oh my. What's inside yet?
He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. Well, if I could rewind, we'd be fine. Okay, um... Let's sit at this bench. What the hell am I doing out here? What if I run in front of him? Will I get something from that? Or what if I do this? Stay in the dark. You don't see me, mister. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I, I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but... God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I... I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Max, stop wandering outside and get back to your dorm. Now he's got me totally trapped. Max, I told you to get back to your room. Max, stop wandering outside and get back. Hmm. Maybe if I go back in my dorm? I can't go inside my dorm. Well, my, uh, my Cortana opened. Wait, can I? No. Set of keys on me somewhere. Mm. Ah, gotcha. Now, Max the Ninja strikes again. <laughs> I figured it out. Jesus. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. Well, like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, 
I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. Okay. All because my power didn't work. <laughs> it didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's going to bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. This whole town is a bad omen. I noticed that Blackwell seems to be ground zero. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Of course. They're both sociopaths. More like psychopaths. The Blackwell security officer even hits his own stepdaughter. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. Mm -hmm. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? Nope. Not at all. It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out.
Bowie the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? We can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe Dick it or not, girl. I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Crap. Boring. Dead end. Nothing here. All right, so none of those. I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. I bet he's cute. Desolation. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Mm -hmm. Hey Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kinda know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. <laughs> Thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Release the crack hand. It's all mine anyway. Only three more items to go. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. <laughs>
sugar, and duct tape, sodium chloride. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Oi, sugar. Give me the sugar. Yeah, take. Take the dang sugar. Ooh, sugar. Ooh, sugar. You're halfway home, Max. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Has to be that the science stuff in here somewhere. I never said they were great, troll. Okay, so there's no sciencey stuff here. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Yeah, thanks, fishies. Please resume your slumber. Okay. Um, is there stuff in the back? You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Well, you got it. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Uh, is that everything? Duct tape, duct tape, Only duct tape. One more ingredient left. Duct tape, da 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 da. Where would a duct tape be? I'm guessing in here. This is like a scene in a horror film. Oh, Kate. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. Alright, look. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. Okay, I need duck the tape it Duck it duck it duck it duck it tape it you can never escape the lighthouse here. Look at it, they better, 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 better. What? Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Look at it, 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 the tape is mine. Awesome. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Hey, that's my name, D Bam. D Bam, D Bam, D Bam. Hey. This way. Oh, Kate. Your locker looks so lonely. Eh, duh. Oh, wrong way. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to choose something, something happened. Oh, okay. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! 
Get ready to haul ass. Oh, Jesus. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Nothing here. <laughs> oh, that is sweet. I'm inside. She can't cheat with a real one. Oh, this is bullshit. It's fucking door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must oh, want yeah. everybody to know he has money. But no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. Uh. <laughs> this is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. You didn't even search it, you literally looked at it. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the facility and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. To fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot even though Chloe is an intelligent student with the potential to the choice it chooses. No, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Only two more files to go. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. Recent this file is going to be so spotless I'll projectile vomit I have to make uh, sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background 
Let's nab this last tumbleweeds. Oh, search. Look at this pile. Yeah, search it, you dingbat. Oh, shoot, what was this? Hello. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. Of course, the situation can be re rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell. Uh, with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conductive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prasad. Look at the letter. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Oh. Okie dokie. And nothing here. Okay, I searched those. Oh, wait, did I search this one? Yes, I did. Search this one. I can't search tumbleweeds. that. Yep, tumbleweeds. Okay, search that. Search that. Is there something over here that I'm not getting? Lamp, turn on. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Yep. Okay. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Okay. Hey, Chloe, what's up, girl? Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Oh yeah, Nathan boy. Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are mm -hmm. so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info, let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what mm -hmm. have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just nope. rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid. Right? You are Supermax. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. Alrighty, well, guys, I'm gonna leave this episode here. 
If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on that bell to get notified of when I upload. See you guys in our next one. Peace.